Today we look at how to connect our Facebook lead campaigns to KV Core. We have the ability to integrate the two so when a new lead comes in on Facebook, it's automatically input into our CRM. And in addition, our drip campaigns take over so we don't miss any time between the moment the lead comes in to when they're hearing from us directly. It's a very powerful integration that saves you a lot of time and increases your conversion. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. So question of the day, what CRM are you using at the moment? And is it integrated into Facebook? Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, today we're connecting our Facebook lead campaigns to KV Core using Zapier. So let's get right into it. We're gonna make a zap and we're gonna select Facebook, but before we do that, check out the KV Core by Invite. Zapier does not have KV Core already on the platform. So if you're on there searching for this KV Core, it's not going to work. You have to go to the link, let's see, let's go to KV Core Zapier. You need to go to their support site and get the invitation from there. So we're here on KV Core. You're gonna click on that in order for it to be added as an option for you on Zapier. So if you're just searching for the app up here, it's not gonna work. So avoid um, a lot of time wasted on your end. So to make this work, you do have to come over here. Again, just type in KV Core in Zapier and it'll come right up. So you click on that and it'll add it so that's why you see it by invite it'll add it into your system and that's how you get it to work all right so we're going to go with facebook lead ads we're going to go with a new lead we want it to be automatically sent over to our kv core we're going to select the leads ad account which if you're if you've created this already then you don't you're going to go as fast as i am but if not it's just going to prompt you Hey, connect to Facebook. So you can log in, make that connection. Hey, where do you want to connect? Then you're gonna do that. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You're not gonna be um, any slower or really any faster if this is the first time. Actually, you're not gonna be faster if this is the first time that you're creating. So I'm selecting the page that I'm gonna get the lead from. Depending on where you're running, the ads is gonna be where you're gonna be able to pull the form from. So in that this particular campaign that I'm coming back to was run out of this page so that's where I have the actual form from Facebook so we're gonna go to form and there it is right at the top so take note that it's asking for the form right off the bat which means you need to have the form already created so your first step is gonna be launch your Facebook campaign if you're not confident that it'll it, that you'll be able to complete everything before it actually gets approved, then go ahead and uh, ask it to get approved. Once it's approved, then pause the Facebook ad campaign as you set everything else up so you're not missing any leads and any automations. At this point, I feel comfortable just creating the Facebook ad, going over to KV Core and creating the smart campaign, and then coming here because I know that by the time the Facebook ad is approved, I'm not gonna have an issue um, having everything ready. So we're going to go to continue. We're going to go to test and continue. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. And it's going to pull in some dummy information because this is a brand new campaign. There's not a lead that's come through, so it is what it is. And now, as a reminder, it's by invite, so you're going to have to go and configure that by going to KV Core and Zapier, just typing that into Google and clicking the link right there and it'll automatically up, upload it into your Zapier. So that's the, the way to make that connection work. We're gonna select KV Core and we're gonna go create a contact. So create a contact within an, an account, optionally assigned to an agent. So depending on your admin rights on KV Core, that's what that's about. But since um, I have the agent 
the agent access here, it'll create it right off the bat. And I'm gonna select the KV Core. Again, this is something that if you're, if this is your first time creating it, it's just gonna prompt you to log in and that's pretty much it. it the connections are super simple. You're gonna go to continue. And now when it comes to customizing the contact, you're you're essentially routing the information over to KB Core. You know what you're asking for in your lead forms and you know what's important for you when you're creating your automations. So in our in the lead form that I'm pulling the information from or pulling the lead from, I'm asking for the first name. So as you see, it's a dummy test. So there's no information from Facebook at the moment. So there's no test leads to pull from. I'm asking for the first name on the lead form. I'm not asking for a uh, last name or anything else like that. I'm going to identify it as a buyer because the campaign that I have is for buyer leads. I'm not asking for the last name, so that doesn't matter. I'm going to the email, the test email, cell phone, I asked for the phone number. So these are the three elements that are dynamic. These are elements that are going to change. This information will be changing dependent on the lead. I am identifying them as a buyer. You don't have to do that, but I choose to do that. So whenever I continue to get leads, I know if these are buyers, these are investors, these are sellers and onward. All right. so. Lead status, I will leave it at as new. You can actually um, have the trigger point from your end, from your KV Core B, uh, if it's a new lead, for it to take over, for the automation to start um, working, essentially your drip campaigns to start working. But I choose not to do that. I like to trigger my campaigns from a hashtag, and I'll show you where to do that in a few seconds. All right, so we're not gonna worry about form or capture method because it's not pertinent to me. The source, not pertinent to me. Or I'm not interested in adding that. Um, interested in city, so if you know, if you ask that on the lead form, hey, what city are you interested in buying or selling, or buying in this case more specifically, then you can include that here and have that as a form, as a field to add but I didn't do that in the lead form, so there's no sense in making that go. Trigger automation, I wanted to run the automation in which I, you know, I haven't seen the difference on the trigger automation, whether I put no automation or run automation, it still goes. So I'm working with KV Core on that and I have opened a ticket for Zapier, but right now, whether you put run automation or don't run automation, it goes, assuming you have your uh, smart campaign already set up in KV Core. All right, so I, we're gonna scroll all the way to the end, which is the important part. This is a tag or set of tags to add to a lead or contact. Multiple values must be separated by a pipe character. So this is where you get to add it. In the hashtag that I'm using in this particular, to set the automation, and I'll link that video down below. I, I just created a video showing you how to, how I actually created this particular campaign, this particular smart campaign. And there you'll see the hashtag that I used. Triplex Bishop Arts. All right, so this is a hashtag that I created. Let me just confirm the spelling. So this is the hashtag that will be fed into CRL and into KV Core. So as soon as KV Core, Core sees this hashtag, it'll start my automation. And my automation includes, for now, just an email and a, a text letting them know that from the email standpoint, giving them the information that I promised, which was additional information on the property. And the text is just saying, hey, this is Jaime. If you have any questions, reach out to me, but I just emailed you, so be on the lookout. That way they know to expect an email in case it went to the spam folder or anything like that. We're going to go to continue, test and continue. And now before we turn it on, let's go to KV Core. And there it is. So it went through. No, no email has been uh, sent out and it won't on the test, but we know that it's going through. So we're going to go to turn that on. 
All right, so I forgot to name it. So we're gonna go to name your zap and it's gonna be triplex bishop arts uh, Facebook Facebook to K KV core. Well, this is how you connect your Facebook lead campaigns to KV core. Thank you for watching. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.